I know you've been waiting to hear the next part of this message. And I'm just so delighted that we can again connect and join together to stir up our, fa our faith and be strong in the Lord because the Word of God will make us strong in this season and this time. Hallelujah. Well, I, I, I started off some time ago, some days ago, talking to you about the blessing, grace upon grace, spiritual blessing upon blessing from John, John chapter 1, verse 16, and then favor upon favor. I then went and ministered to you about Malachi chapter 3, the, uh, where the Lord says He will open up windows of heaven and pour out blessing upon us that we can't contain it. And I then went and took you to Genesis where God opened the heavens, the windows of heaven, and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And then just to give you a reflection on Noah's heart and his attitude that he, first of all, obeyed God to build an ark in an environment where it had never rained. They didn't know what floods, rain, water, an abundance of water looked like, yet he obeyed God. He obeyed God's word. And when he did what he did, it created salvation. And then his attitude where he was so thankful and grateful to God that him and his family had been saved and that God also as a great and mighty God had saved the earth, saved the animals of the earth and saved the future of all of mankind and how God pronounced a blessing upon them to increase and multiply and be fruitful through all the seasons that God multiplied and God established a whole new pattern of, of earth living for both man and beast and all the seasons. He created a whole new pattern because of the, the great and wonderful offering that, that, and sacrifice that Noah had made on the back of obedience. And so I was really sharing with you that as a tither, you really have a lot that you can stand on. As somebody who's a faithful, a faithful person in your local church, who is a continually involved in the, in the body of Christ, this is your moment where you can call on, on the Almighty God, the Jehovah God, the providing God, God, the saving, protecting God. You can call on Him in this moment, in this time in our history, that the globe, the world has never yet experienced such a great uh, threat as it is facing right now. We can count on God to bring us through. I want to bring you another example of the windows of heaven open and pouring out blessing on God's people. And so I read to you Exodus chapter 16, verse 4. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from the heavens for you. So this doesn't say I will open up a window, but it is the same thing as it happened to Noah. I will rain bread from, from the heavens for you. And the people shall go out and gather a day's portion every day that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or not. <clears throat> so this passage of scripture is directly saying, here these children of Israel are in the wilderness. They're in a desert. There's no ongoing substance that they can feed from and feed with and build and, 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 and multiply. So God says, I'm going to show you how great I am. And in an environment that is completely, I want to say almost uninhabitable or sparsely inhabitable, very challenging to live in an environment. God every day opened up the windows of heaven and he just rained food upon them. It, this food was an amazing substance and it had a particular sweetness and flavor to it. And I don't want to get into it, but it was, it was nutritionally just perfect for the human body to consume what it needed to consume for a day's living and um, to keep them strong, healthy, sickness and disease away from them. A perfect nutrition every day. Poured from the windows of heaven. And so if you took more than you needed for a day, they would wake up in the morning 
and you can read it for yourself. And the, 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 if you'd collected more than you needed, it, would, it just decayed, it would become rotten, it would become a stench. So God forced the children of Israel to trust in Him day by day, not plan a year in advance. And, and I guess if you like, this is God's first indication of saying, I don't want you panic buying. I don't want you to go in and, and, and stock up from the supermarket for, for three months in advance in case you don't have food. I want you to trust me every day. So he, he was going to show them every day, but I'm not just going to bless you every day. I'm going to pour out to the, all the people that are my people that are traveling together. I'm going to pour from the windows of heaven daily. I'm going to pour out. I'm going to, it's never going to stop. So, uh, so Moses and Aaron said to all of Israel, chapter 16, verse 6, At evening you shall know that the Lord has brought you out from the land of Egypt. Now, if you actually just go and read about it, this happened for 40 years, day and night, 40 years, that he poured out for them this kind of food. 40 years he fed them with manna in the morning and he would feed them meat at night. 40 years, day in and day out, they lived supernaturally because the windows of heaven were opened to pour upon them blessing that was it just kept blessing. It just kept happening day after day. I want you to know that based on Malachi chapter 3, you are a, a tither. You are in covenant with God. In your heart, you may say, wow, the circumstances look so overwhelming to me. I'm in a desert. I'm in a famine. Uh, the businesses are closing down. Opportunities are scarce. Things are getting worse. Things are, gonna, uh, are not going to be as easy and plentiful as they were before. For you and me, tither, covenant child of God, faith person, someone who's connected to the will of God for their life, not just serve self-serving. This is your moment to stand up and say, I stand with God. I'm in agreement with God. In Malachi 3, I take my authority alongside Jesus and I rebuke the devourer. I rebuke him and he may not devour my future. And I command the windows of heaven to pour out and pour blessings upon me. I command supernatural increase. I command new doors of opportunities because God has spoken it. It doesn't matter what natural circumstances are like. I'm in agreement with God and I'm speaking as though I, it, it was God speaking because I'm joint heirs with Jesus and I command these things to come into my life. I will not fear. I will walk in faith. I am blessed upon blessed. I am graced upon grace. And I am favored upon favor. May God truly rich you, uh, bless you richly as you go forward in these moments. Thank you for joining me.